Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm ready for another coding lesson in Turtle Academy. So let's get cracking. Once again, friends, we are visiting Turtle Academy. I'm going to just type Turtle Academy. You can also use a link in the description. Once I get there, I'm going to hit login and I'm going to log in with Google. Make sure it has your username at the top. And then if you hit profile, you'll be able to see your programs. Once we're in our profile, we need to find our code. My code is on page two. And remember, we named it logo MDH and I put a two after mine. When you get there, it should have a go, a square and a cool. At that point, let's add our next piece of code. The first step is to remove the commands at the bottom so nothing will run. The word we're going to make is called wow. After you type to wow, I need you to press enter and enter again and then put your end command because we never want to forget that. We're going to build the program wow. Let's start by typing repeat and then we're going to put a special amount called n which allows us to adjust. So we're going to put colon n also on top. Notice n has to be in the top line and in the code. Now that we have those created, we need to add the square brackets that we use for the repeat command. These will be up above the enter key. We are going to repeat a bunch of sides in here. So once again, type repeat. Make sure you spell it correctly. And with this repeat, we're going to use sides. So put a colon s and also put a colon s up on the top. So first it'll be how many times it spins. The second will be how many sides it creates. Once again, we need to do a square brackets and then we actually need to make our shape. This needs to go forward and I'm gonna do colon L for the length. Once again, since I'm putting this up here, I need to put it on the top as well. Notice I did capitals because that makes it easier for you to see what I did. And now we're going to add a write command with RT and then use a variable colon RT1. Now since we put an RT1 here, we need to put an RT1 on the top as well. So there's colon RT with a 1 after it. And then I'm going to add a space. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to close that first shape. So there's the first closed bracket. So these two are connected. And then we're going to do space. We're going to go right one more time. And this time it's going to be colon RT. And just like before, if we use a variable in, we also have the variable listed out. So there's colon RT too. We also have to have a closed bracket. So notice there's a first and a last. And there's an open and a closed in the middle. You've just created the awesome wow command. Now I need you to press enter. And then we can test it by typing wow. And I'm going to have it repeat 100 times. And then I want four sides. I want a length of 50. And then I want right one to be 90 degrees. And I want right two to be 15 degrees. So we're giving the values that we want to happen. When we hit run, you will see our awesome little shape appears over here. Now the fun part of this is adjusting it. So I'm going to clear the screen and then I'm going to draw it again. But this time I'm going to do 150 for the length of the sides. Remember that's colon S and I'm going to make it a five sided shape. Now these angles don't exactly make exact shapes and that's where it turns kind of cool. Notice the fantastic design I just made. Before you continue the lesson, change those numbers on your own and see what kind of cool things you can make. You can see I changed mine to 33. I'm going to change this to 65. You can see that number was totally out of control and did not make a closed shape, but that's half the fun of the project. One cool thing about Logo is you can save your codes for later. If you put a semicolon in front of this, it no longer runs. So when I hit run, it does clear the screen, but that wow doesn't exist. If I want to bring it back, I can delete the semicolon, and the next time I run it, it exists again. So I'm going to copy this code because I want to keep it. I'm going to press enter. I'm going to do control V to paste that. And then I'm going to take the original and I'm going to leave it as my saved code. Let's add one more amazing thing to our project. Move up to where the shape is designed and type set color 
with a space, and then we're going to use an amazing word called random. And then I want you to type a number 16 after it because there are 16 colors built in to logo. At this point, when we hit run, check it out. Our beautiful little project now has color. So now I'm going to quickly move down and I'm going to change my shape and see what else I can make by just adjusting the different designs that I put. Alrighty friends, so you can see that if you make it large enough, it wraps around and shows up on the other side of the screen. That's just awesome as well. Your job if you're in my classroom is to have at least three different cool ones. I need you to turn in a screenshot of your cool project. Remember when you are done, if you hit save, it will draw that output image. And then friends, you can right click and you can save that image and turn it in. Mine saves to the downloads, yours may save automatically. I'm going to just type logo 2 and hit save and then turn that into Google Classroom. Friends, I hope you had a ton of fun exploring your projects. Make sure you remember to hit save. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.